Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Pine Pass with uh, some lovely views of the highway and now our uh, ore mine industry. We are over here at Sterling Davies Lumber. Kind of hard to read it, but that's where we are because today is the day that um, expansion of this area begins. Good old Sterling Davies, who I think lives right over here somewhere is what we said there was houses here wasn't there wasn't there i thought there was houses here oh no it's right we we redeveloped it so uh yeah we kicked sterling out i don't know where he lives now um i forgot that we had redeveloped this is the higher density i'm like wait a minute this doesn't look right yeah who knows where he lives now uh hard hard to tell but uh, you know, his business has been mildly profitable most of the time, but very, very space constrained. Um, and over the years, he's been taking what profits he has made, as well as working with some other private investors. Um, maybe, uh, Miss Harris. Uh, and just building up a, a little bit of a, a, a fund to, to do some expansion. Um, the city is really interested in this land, given its proximity to the downtown. Uh, this could definitely be used uh, for some better purposes other than just industry, though we do have industry here and here, though that, that could move. Um, we are slowly moving our utilities out that way. So, you know, there's a lot that could change here um but today we're gonna get started on finding the best way to incorporate davies sterling davies lumber up into this area uh, we do have some train challenges though it's not too bad we have a relatively flat area up here at the top that could be used for some processing buildings in fact, we could probably grade that off just a bit. Um, I pick that elevation there. We could give ourselves a nice flat pad right here. And that could be a great spot for some processing buildings. Uh, and doesn't really look like we did anything with the train. I just noticed there's old ruins back here as well. I've never noticed this before. Well, it almost looks like a mine, but not really because it's got castle walls and what mine had castle walls. That's cool. So there was some sort of castle up here at some point. What a weird place to build a castle. Um, also, uh, gosh, I'm just seeing stuff I've never seen before on this map. I didn't know this was here either. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, anyway, not, not what we're here for. We are here to build a road uh, to get up to that area. Uh, actually, we're going to build a couple roads that get us up into that area. Um, one that is going to connect uh, off of here to give citizens a way up. And then here for highway access for trucks uh, to be able to get, well, you know, on and off the highway. Because uh, that's, you know, what highway access is for. So <laughs> we're going to take a look at our terrain view and I had originally thought maybe bringing a, just like a, a road up and around here and going up this way. But honestly, I think this looks like it is a little less of a incline than what we have here. So uh, we're going to go right off of here and get this going here. And we're aiming to go up to back here. So I may actually start back here and work my way down. Um, the snap twos are on, but they don't really matter at this point. So I kind of want this to come up in right at this edge and then just find some natural train spots to follow, which that looks pretty good. Nice sweeping turn. Nothing too harsh so that we don't have trucks struggling. And then we just need to get these two connected. And again, we've got kind of a natural path for it to follow right here. And then we just need to make a connection. And we should be able to do that with our curved road tool. 
and that should be pretty good. I do want to check our slopes just to be sure that this isn't too tough for the uh, trucks that are going to be going back and forth. So we want to check from there all the way down. It's a little too far. Let's bring it to there and then to there. So a 2.3, uh, we do have an eight up here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, see what it does. Yeah, there's some things I don't really care for. Um, and I don't know that were necessary. So sadly you can't uh, undo from this, but what we can do is do the next best thing. And we want just nodes. And select all of that. No, it's hard to see the green against the light, but trust me, we're selecting them. And we're going to grab all of those that we just had selected for the uh, slopes, and we're going to put it back down to train height. And now we're just going to slope a little more selectively uh, and see. That was, yeah, it's 4.3, so it's still... Still a bit much. Yeah, that's going to do the same thing. So those should all still be selected. Maybe we just live with a bit of a steep elevation change in one little section. Truck can shift down to low and hope for the best. Uh, <laughs> how it goes, I don't know. Over here, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to bring this up here as well. But we're going to do it as just like a, a state highway, a four-lane, two-way highway. In fact, don't we have one that's just from... Yeah, let's just use the one that comes with the recent expansion. Um, I've still got a mod turned on somewhere. There we go. Let's bring this out just a little bit straight right there. And then we will start our climb up, which I really would like to get it to kind of come over here and follow that. So let's see if we can't get that to happen here. Just make a nice sleeping curve there. Bring this out straight-ish for just a bit here. Like to about there. And then start climbing up. I want to make sure that we are following the train as best we can. And then this should be fairly easy to get up here. I just want to see where our connection point is. Uh, way, way over there still. Okay. So let's continue just trying to follow terrain as best we can. We may have to kind of bring it up and back and around and then across. I think that's going to be our best bet here. So we'll come through there, bring it up through here where we've got the train kind of working on our side. And then we can bring this up to about right. Um, I'd like to get around this here. There we go. And then bring this back around. And then we should be able to finish this off with the curved road tool. I don't quite make a good connection yet. So we're going to bring this around a little bit more. Just a skosh. And then now, perfect. And then this will be the entrance right here where the road changes. Uh, and for that, we're gonna switch over to our industry roads. We're gonna do a bit of a collector. Did I pass it? Yeah, there it is. And we're just gonna go straight back pretty much the entire length of this area that we have Graded. Now this side, I'm not going to do any grading on. Uh, this is going to be where our raw timber is coming from. This side I may do just a bit more because we're not going to be able to fit a whole lot in there. Um, let's take a look and see if I do that. What new challenges do we present to ourselves? As long as I don't get too close to the road, but we're going to need a significant amount of space here. So if we then smooth this back out, what does that look like? It's fine. We got a little bit of an issue here by the road. But for the most part, you can't really tell that we did anything. 
So I want to uh, consult my handy dandy spreadsheet that we talked about uh, when we did the ore industry. So I'm going to pause for just a moment and bring that up on the laptop. All right, I know what we want now. Um, and that's going to be come in here to forestry. I want six of these, but we don't get them until we unlock uh, level five. So we may have to go a little bit smaller for now. We're also going to have to go with our smaller buildings and replace them. Height of realism, no, uh, but we're going to do it anyways. What we might be able to do instead, though, is let me grab this industry area because I want to just extend it up to where we are up here. Oh, there's oil up there. Interesting. We're not going to be tapping into oil on this map. Uh, forestry and or uh, maybe a fishing industry. Still considering it. Uh, we do it since we've got so much seaside area up there. Uh, maybe. What we could probably do because we've produced well over where we'll need to be, because 13,500 uh, units gets us to uh, five stars. What we don't have are workers. Um, let me get some water pipes up here real quick, and we're going to spam out a bunch of workers barracks and see if we can't use workers barracks to get the worker numbers we need, and then... Upgrade. So let me get these water pipes in and then we'll get started on trying to uh, cheese it a little bit to get our industry up to five stars. All right, we've got water pipes in and I realized once I got uh, all the way down that I had used regular water pipes and not the heating pipes. So I have corrected that mistake. So we're just going to connect that right there and then we're just going to bring off a series of dirt roads. But first, how big are, how big are these guys? pretty large. Um, so I'm going to put one to each side here. And th those two alone should help us start getting some upgrades. You can see we definitely have some train issues over here. But as I mentioned, that's going to be where the trees go and they can form to uh, the train just fine. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. And these are... Let's go... 400, that should be fine. Uh, and that should let me get a few more of these in. And in fact, we're a little over. So what is this doing for our numbers? Uh, it should start bringing more employees in, even though they're up here remote. So I'm just going to work with workers barracks until I can get this thing uh, completely leveled up. And then we're going to build it. We are climbing steadily. The more of these I spam out, the quicker we will get to that five star from the current three star. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. And we did it. Uh, it only took like 35 <laughs> of these workers breaks. Not even exaggerating, but we did it. We got everything unlocked and that's what's important. So I wanna do, we want six of the large tree plantations. I'm gonna put one here uh, and then I'm gonna run a road. I'm just gonna use dirt roads. I'm going to give it a little bit of space um, and we're going to run that back and then I'm going to go back like three more and then bring this road there. So 500 and 500. So to get me one, two, three, four, we're going to six of them. Plus we want a sapling field. The sapling field is probably going to go back here. So I just want to do this again. So come out 550 bring that dirt road up and we'll probably connect these guys that'll be nice and then so that'll get me one two three four five six we can put the sapling field back there somewhere so let's go ahead and get this connected over to our collector even though that is starting to change elevations there and then i want to just spin this around and get six of these in here uh, we'll get the water pipes in in a minute. Oh, I went way bigger than I needed to. But that's fine, because I do want some separation. So we'll get all six of these. And then we'll get some water pipes back here. I don't think these need heating. Let's find out. 
If I just bring regular water pipes back here, is that sufficient? Or will they say we want heating as well? No, we are good with that. And see, these, these conform to the train nicely. What we don't have is natural resources. We're gonna we're gonna fix that. We're gonna spam out some trees here in a minute. Uh, let's get ourselves a large. Well, I was really hoping that would go the other direction. So instead, uh, let's put a road right there. We don't like that that dipped down like that. Now this may not conform to the train as well. Uh, no, it did fine. And this type of greenhouse would indeed follow the train quite nicely. Um, I know that from GTA, where out in Grapeseed they have the... Uh, why is this? Oh, that's because I turned everything the segments off. Uh, in the Grapeseed area of GTA, they have greenhouses. And GTA devs do a lot of work to make sure things... Uh, mimic the reality of the area that they're trying to recreate. Let's see if that needs heating. It does not. So that is all we need for raw resources. But if we look, none of these are producing at near what they should be. Uh, we're getting 7,100. We should be able to get, actually we're already getting more than we should out of them, but we can do, we can do better. Uh, what I'm gonna do is turn off the lock forestry. We're going to come in here because I believe I made a pine pass brush. I did. I'm going to bring that size way on up. And then we are just going to blanket this with some trees. Bring that strength up as well. And we're going to blanket this area here. And this should get that natural resource increased. We're going to go a little bit to this side. And now if we take a look at our natural resources... Yeah, that is all very green. I'm just going to come in and then individually place a few just to get everything. Oops, I put one up on the hillside. I'll just leave it there. Just to get this all nice and green through here, I'm going to throw some in at the edges as well. And then we'll uh, take a look at what's next. And that gets us quite a bit of green. So I can go ahead and lock forestry back in place. These should now be producing even more. Maybe not. Maybe that's just their maximum. That's fine. We'll take it, though, because that's that's pretty doggone good. I do just want to consult my spreadsheet, though, and make sure that that is the number that I was hoping for. Now, it looks like we should be able to get 11.2 out of these. Uh, only is that's that's gonna have us way under why are we not getting the maximum amount i'm gonna try one of the thing here real quick i'm gonna delete these plant some trees and then relock the forestry um and see if that doesn't get me what i was expecting so bear with me while i get that taken care of now it looks like no matter what the 7168 is the biggest that we get out of there which is really strange it should be higher that should be operating at um large tree sample field 9.6 tons and this should be going at 11.2 i know i've seen them higher than that maybe uh, the units aren't the problem yeah i'm not really sure what's happening there uh, regardless, we're going to continue uh, for now. Let me uh, click back over to the right thing on my spreadsheet and see what it is we need. We need uh, six pulp mills, six engineered wood plants. I don't know that those are going to fit in this area. We can try, but we also need storage for the raw resources as well. Um, I'm going to bring this out. I want to look at my contour lines here. I don't want to go too far into that area we're gonna bring that out and bring that out uh we do still have forestry locked we do so we need first of all storage uh that will be paramount i'm gonna pause while we do this uh we're gonna do some back here just one there and then i want to change this so that we're not importing these i just want them to fill that up um yeah good that definitely kept the, the lumber there 
And then we're going to do a couple more back here. We're gonna do one. I don't want it right here by this intersection. I wanna leave some space. So let's go out four right there. And then another one right here. And then the same thing, I don't want them importing. I want to turn that off. Uh, we don't want that crush of trucks. Plus we don't need it. We're gonna be producing our own stuff. So now let's see how big are these processors. I'm pretty sure they're pretty large. Yeah, the pulp mills themselves are big, but what we might be able to do is fit them in this way. They fit that way, but we're gonna quickly run out of space, I think. Uh, let's see, so that comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we run our road right there. And that gets me two more. Uh, it would help if I click the right button. So we can go there and then we can go there and then I can just use this to know how big that needs to be, 450. Yeah, I think we're gonna quickly get into a situation where we don't have enough room anymore. Uh, so we might have to go to a uh, plan B situation here, which is okay. We can do that. So we'll do four there, and then we'll do two more down here. Because this is nice and flat down here, right? Yeah. And this is what, uh, 500. Let's just keep this consistent. And uh, that was not 500. Let's try it again. Can I have that? My mouse does not like to click the left button. And we're gonna bring that over, but not connect there. And then we're gonna get in, why is that? Is that in a different spot? Did I go five here? I must have moved that over one. Don't give me that space already occupied nonsense. And then we can get two more in. I know the game is still paused. So we get those in there. Can we now fit? So we've also gotta get storage for this. And I don't think we're gonna be able to fit in uh, our engineered wood plants as well. So we might have to go across the road and grade out some of this over here to make room for those. Uh, one thing I do want to do real quick though is yeah, conifer, conifer, beach. I don't want these all to be conifers. It says it's conifer, but it doesn't look like conifers. There we go. And yeah, it's like a different model, even though it says it's Conifer. That's really odd. There, now that blends in a little bit better. Uh, so we need storage for, uh, what do you make? You make uh, paper. Lots and lots and lots of paper. And so we want these warehouses up here. I will eventually get to the right button here. And let's just bring the two of these in, just so we have ample storage for all of this. There. And that works out well, we've got that big area. So we need to come over here and grade out some space for our, um, uh, what are they called? Engineered wood plants. These are much smaller, thankfully, uh, which means we'll also be able to move our um, main industry building, or not main industry, but uh, unique factory up here, our furniture factory. And that'll be a nice addition. Gonna leave this paused uh, for now while I do the grading and get this all taken care of. This, I'm not 100% sure how I wanna do it just yet. So I'm gonna have to kind of stare at it for a minute and figure out exactly what I wanna do. And as much as I hate to do it, I think what we're gonna do is just remove a bit of this hill right here. And by a bit of it, I mean a lot of it. And bring that back. Um, there's not really yet. It just keeps going up and up and up. So I'm going to bring it back to about there. And then we will smooth that back out. So hopefully that doesn't look too terrible. Let's take a peek. Ah, it's all right. It'll work. And then I'll also give us some space to do maybe a few homes back here up on this hill. Uh, or workers barracks or something. Uh, just to kind of fill in the area. I do want to go ahead and connect to this road, even though it's 
add a different grade because I want uh, some space for one of our maintenance buildings. And we'll just plop it right there. And then maybe a barracks. Let's, let's take a look at the trains. I'm gonna move that and then look at that. Okay, I can't do both at the same time, really. Seriously? Okay, that's peculiar. So I'm just gonna delete it. And then go in here, grab that, and then turn that on. That'll work. Get that right at the edge, and then a worker's barracks. That's really noisy. Let's swap those two. Let's just drop that there for a moment. Bring that back over. Put that right there. I mean, it's still going to be noisy out here by where the workers are, but not as bad. We do have some bit of train issues happening. So we bump it over a little bit more. That'll work. Still kind of in the noisy area, but what are you going to do? Uh, so, uh, what we're going to do is come across the road now, and hopefully this doesn't become a choke point in traffic. I don't believe that it will. I'm going to bring this pretty far back. I just want to see where... There we go. That's kind of a natural endpoint. And we're also going to put... We're going to relocate, I should say, the, the headquarters building. It's going to live right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now before I forget. Uh, that's the mine. So we want to bring the forestry main building up here. Their, their new headquarters. Uh, I'm lost. There we go. Got a little lost, but it's okay. Uh, and of course, that's not in the industry area. We'll fix that by extending that industry area over to here. Shrinking it up back here where we don't need it to be so big. Then we can go ahead and sever that connection because we don't need it anymore. Go right around all of that and right down like that. There we go. So it was way bigger than we needed. We might have to expand it if we're not producing enough uh, raw resources, but that's a problem. For future Brandon, granted that might be uh, future Brandon five minutes from now, but it's still a problem for future Brandon. So there, and now I just want to flip this so that it's facing out towards everything and kind of able to survey what's going on out that direction. And then back here, I want to make room for a little bit more storage for the raw resources and get in the... Um, uh, hello game, can we auto save? Thank you. Uh, let's go out one more. Yeah, let's go out just a little bit more here. I'd like that to be, yeah, I like that. Cool. I like that. So we'll go there, we'll get rid of that, and then we'll throw in just one more bit of storage right here. And then we're gonna run our engineer wood plants back here. Let's see how I want to do that. Where are you guys? There, engineered wood plant. Yeah, they see, this is nowhere near as big. So this works out well. We're going to go one there, one there. I'm going to go with one right here. Now let's center this up. And then bring this out. How big was this? 450? Bring that out another 450. Come down. Probably a few too many connections to the collector. Um, we'll see how that works out in a bit. And right there, and we, I know I'm going to need heating pipes over here for this stuff since they are factories. So we're going to just go ahead and get that in. And then we're going to need the same right back here. I would like to have a bit more space for workers' barracks, but... I don't know that space is a luxury that we have up here, given that we're right at the edge of this mountain. Granted, we could put them in over here, but I think more appropriate would be to actually have a small neighborhood up here kind of supporting all of this. So, with all of this connected, I want to just let it run for a moment and watch and see uh, exactly what happens. We do need a bit of storage real quick, though for our planed timber. So we will get those set up just like that. 
And then we also need a place to relocate that main build, or not the main building, but the unique factory. I keep calling it the main building, and that's not what it is. Uh, how is that oriented? It goes off of what road? Okay, so there. And I want that. Now come back up here. I want it kind of coming off this direction. Um, so what we'll do is bring a road back like this, and then we'll bring this across and connect it there, and then we will orient it um, off of this road. Yeah, this road. So we're going to grab that right now, bring it up here, and plop it down right there like that. Ooh. I did not realize we were outside of the area we had graded, so I may reconsider this. Because uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Ooh, we are outside of the area that I had graded. Okay, so let's first grade out just a wee bit more of this hillside. Just, just a, a skosh. And then we will soften that. Make it look not so bad. And then we will, instead of having it go that direction, we'll bring it out this way right here. And that's still giving us some train challenges right there in the corner. Let's see if we can't make this look all right here. Bring that out some there. And then smooth, kind of leading up to it. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. And then the only other thing we need is the warehouse that's holding unique factory products. There we go. That's this one. No need to make a new one when we already have one. And we should be able to just, yeah, pop that in right like that. Let's bring it. I'm going to bring these over to this road, actually. And then we're going to connect this like that. And then get some heating over here for this guy. And now we're going to let the game run for a moment and watch and see what happens. It should all work fairly balanced, uh, provided I don't have any of these importing and I did forget to do one of them. So here we go. Let's see what we get. And I've let this run for about five minutes and we're doing good. We're, we're making everything. All, our factory is happy. Uh, we're making furniture. They're storing it. Uh, granted, they have a very long way to go to be able to export any of that, but we're going to address that. But before we do that, we have a couple of other concerns up here. Uh, one is there is no fire coverage. Um, and I think we, we would probably want to have fire coverage up here. In fact, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to also have a fire watchtower up here. I'm gonna bring that in kind of just right there and that gets good coverage there. And then, a private industry like this that's kind of remote wouldn't have a police station. What they would have is their own uh, on-site security. However, we don't have that option. So we are going to throw in a police station up here as well, just to keep crime down. And the final piece of all of this is going to be... a way for them to get things exported simply and you might be thinking there's no railroad up here and you're you'd, you'd be right there is no railroad up here currently we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna do some things uh first i want to just bring this back a little bit more right like that and we'll fix that corner of the road that is up high. Bring that down, cool. And then we're going to tunnel a very, very, very long tunnel. So we're gonna bring this out to here. And then we are gonna hopefully start a tunnel right here that goes nicely into the side of the hill. This is what I'm hoping for. Um, I can make that work. It goes up right now, but if we come in here uh, with move it and then go underground and grab... There's no node for me to grab? Oh, I'm still on marquee selection. There's still no node for me to grab. 
Why not? Is that not technically underground yet? And if I connect a bit now, can I? There, now I've got a node. And if I bring that to the same elevation as out here, I think that'll make this look like it goes into the hillside a little bit better. Yeah, that works. Cool. This is going to run way down to over here. Um, I know, kind of extreme. But this is where all of those business partners that Sterling Davies had come into play to help pay for this. And I am going to bring this back up to ground level here. Bring that out to here. And we're going to make a connection down here. Like right about there. Go out and then come off right there. So the train kind of does a wiggle wiggle. I could probably straighten that out. Will the arrange it line tool straighten that? I think it will. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if I go from here to there. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want this to just come over this way. So how about we get rid of our little wood here and instead do that. That's better. Not perfect, but it's better. And then we want to come out of the mod and then figure out where this is going to start tunneling here. Um, so it goes nice and straight. Let's look at our contours. So we start going up right back here. Um, let's go to about there and then bring it down. I think we can make this look all right. And that's kind of already naturally at that hill. Cool. So now we just need to come back to our underground view. Add just a little bit of a stub right there. And then I am going to let the mod do the rest of this for us by coming in here, hitting create curve. And I'm pretty sure there's a way to go underground. Yeah. So I'm going to go from there to there. And that creates a nice curve and even looks like it's at a pretty decent grade. And that gets us away for our forestry industry up here on the hill good old Sterling Davies Lumber to be able to get their goods down to town a little bit easier instead of having to currently, you know, just drive the whole way, which is fine. They can. The trucks are there. That's They're available. Um, but I think we'll see our profits go up by having the train here. Um, right now, we're not making a lot of money, mainly because we haven't started exporting the plain timber. Um, once we get both of these to where they're doing exports, I think we'll be in better shape. Um, I did, while I was waiting for things to normalize, go ahead and delete everything except the storage down here. Um, I'm just, I have these all on empty. They will empty out over time, I hope. Right now they keep filling up from somewhere. I don't know if they're delivering from up there or what, but I do have them on empty. So that should take care of itself. And that gets us a big milestone. Maybe not in terms of the game milestones, but a milestone that Pine Pass has been looking forward to for quite some time. Getting Sterling Davies Lumber relocated to begin way of reclaiming some of this former industrial use land for... Uh, some residential and commercial and expanding the town proper so that soon and very soon, because now that we've got most of our industry needs resolved, we can look to the area's other employer across the river, which will be the tourism sector. So that is all yet to come. We still have a lot to do in Pine Pass, but that's going to wrap it up for now. So until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.